Hello everyone, so today we're going to see here how to fix the mouse fire issue of Bluestacks in uh, Free Fire, alright? So make sure that you have updated your Bluestacks to the latest version, which is um, uh, 5, Bluestacks 5's latest version, alright? And also make sure that you have updated your Free Fire to the latest version. So after that, just get inside the game, make sure to, um, well, stay in uh, windowed mode, not don't, don't go in full screen mode, alright? So just stay in this mode, and after that on the right side, you can see this keyboard-like icon, so which will say game controls, so just click there. And after that, this window will pop up. Make sure that opacity is in the middle. Select the keyboard and mouse icon over here. And then scheme. Let's say your smart controls are not working. Your smart controls are not working and your mouse is not firing. Or maybe the right click is not working. So we're going to fix that. We are trying to fix that. Alright. So now go over on the bottom. You'll see open advanced editor. So just click on the open advanced editor. And then this window will pop up with all of the buttons in the screen. So now you can see that um, uh, by default, the free to look or the mouse cursor is actually F1 but you can see here I have set it to middle click I have already put a video how you can change your free to look or your mouse cursor to middle click so I'll just uh, put that uh, link in the description for now let's just try to fix the mouse issue alright so first of all you will see uh, you will try to actually reset the entire layout just so you just so you know so that you if you have made any changes which are like clashing with each other so we're going to just reset it and just make sure that everything is base default so now click on that uh, on the right corner there you will see a red icon resort uh, sorry red bar with the reset in the middle just click on there reset and then click on reset again so just like that everything is everything every other action that has been done previously has been now turned into default so all, you can see now my free to look also has turned into num1 which is the default free to look so now we're going to fix the mouse fire issue all right so now click on this n u m with your left mouse button and drag it towards the right side sorry left side and then you can see there is a small cross above his head now click on the cross bar and now you can see over here there is a right click too so we're going to click on the right click on the cross on the right click all right so we're going to remove the right click so now the uh, free to look and also the right click has been removed we're going to manually put them back so right now right straight above the space right around this area we on the same place we're going to uh, left click with our mouse all right left click first so left click once and then right click once after it so just like that you actually can manually set the right click all right so first you have to actually left click once and then when the box appears right click once all right so after that right click will be there so make sure you can click on save so after that you can see now the right click has been manually set there now we are going to put the free to look and also the mouse fire button manually all right for that you can see on the right side this is called aim pan and shoot this button aim pan and shoot so you're going to click on it left click on it and then you, you're going to hold the left click and you you are going to drag that inside your screen all right so now left click on that aim pan and shoot and then drag it bring it over here all right just leave it over here now you can see that the box is kind of like highlighted if it if it's not highlighted just left click in the middle ones and it will get highlighted but yeah if it's highlighted already like this and it's saying f1 so now you're going to change your free to look to any other button you want you can actually put it to caps lock also you can put it to middle click now i personally prefer to actually put it to middle click so that i can easily go back and forth to mouse cursor and back inside the game free to look all right so i'm going to uh, make my mouse like stay in the middle of this black box or so to say highlighted box and then i'm going to click my middle click button and now you can see my middle click has been set as the free to look or the mouse cursor button so after that click on save in the bottom so now you can see them that the middle click has been set there as the free to look on the mouse cursor but yep our work here is not done all right so over here you can see on the bottom side there is this small settings like icon so move your mouse over there and then click on it left click on it so as soon as you left click on it this box will appear and just drag it a little bit up all right so so you can see here like there is this thing called look around mode you can turn this on all right and after that you can see over here that this is saying fire with left click this is basically the fire button so with some updates in the free fire this might actually be turned off but yeah we are trying to manually fix that so yeah just make sure that this is also turned on so make sure that all of these buttons are actually turned blue all right just make sure that all of them are turned blue now we have to actually get inside the game to actually see where we are going to place this icon we have to place a icon too so our work here is still not yet done but yeah just make sure that all of these are turned blue okay after that just click on the cross section over here and then make sure to save it so after you have saved it now click on the cross on the controls editor now you have to go and search the settings for your game so just click over here and then go over to controls and then try to find the settings uh custom hud yeah there you go the custom hud on the right side corner just click on the custom hud so now you can see everywhere like where are the buttons are actually placed and now you can see the fire button is actually here 
So now we are going to go back to the game controls, that keyboard icon again, just click on there and go over to open advanced editor. And then now you can see that the middle click is again there, we have saved it, so it's successfully saved. So now go over to the settings icon thing again, just be careful, don't click on F. Just be careful to click only on that settings icon with your left mouse button and this box will again appear. Now what you are going to do, is you are going to now, you see this icon over here which looks like a mouse? You are going to left click on it and you are going to drag it. Okay, after you have left click, you have to left click on it again and drag it. Drag it right over here on the shoot button. So just leave it over here. So now you can see that the left uh, left click button or so to say the mouse fire button has been successfully placed above the fire icon. But you can also see on the left side that there is this another fire icon, right? So, but I think that it's actually quite fine to just have one or single fire where a single fire mouse button, all right? So we're just going to leave it be. Just make sure that you actually left click on it and drag it and bring it over here, all right? So just that's it probably for the tutorial. So now click on save. And then I'll click on controls, uh, cross controls editor. So that should actually fix your um, mouse issue. If you have any issues regarding the right click, so to say your scope button, and also if you have issues firing your mouse, or firing with your mouse, then that should actually fix it, all right? So yeah, this is how you can actually use manually set your mouse free to look and also mouse um, fire button if there is any issue regarding it. So this should be it uh, regarding the tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section below. All right, peace out.